Shalom, welcome to Rob on the Rock. I'm Rob Vanoff. Here we are, day 17 of March through Mishlei. We're looking here at Proverbs 17, verse 3. You can grab your own English translation if you like. And it's just a one-liner. Here it says, Matzreif la kesef vechul la zahav uvochen libot Adonai. We're going to take this little bit by little bit. The first two words we're going to look at is Matzreif and Kul. These are in parallel. And the Matzreif, Mem, Tzadi, Resh, Pe, a Matzreif, and a Kur. Kaf, Vav, Resh, it's Kur. It would normally have a Dagesh here. Uh, here it does not because it uh, is a Magad Kafat letter. And if you learn some Hebrew, you'll know what that means. But as a standalone nouns, a matzreif and a kur. And a matzreif, my understanding would be, this is what they call a crucible. Whereas a kur is more like a furnace. They're both uh, mechanisms for using heat or smelting purification of metal. And what we're going to see is matzreif plus a lamid, le. Matzreif le, and then kur le, and the lamid after is four. So a matzreif le is for kesef. So there's another important word here, kesef, kaf, samik, pe, and it's a segalit like this. And then zahav is the word for gold, zahav. So we have kesef and Zahav in parallel. Matzreif la kesef. The crucible, crucible is for silk, for purifying silver. The chul la Zahav. And the furnace is for purification of gold. So we're talking about the extreme conditions that these metallurgical tools uh, create. Uh, and subject then these precious metals to a matzreif la kesef for silver and a kul la zahav, a furnace for gold. And then we finally get the zinger here. Uvochen libot Adonai. Well, what's it? What's libot here? Libot is just plural for heart. Lev. My tzad, er, vav, or my lamed rather. It's kind of funny looking there. Lev. Bochen libot. Libot means hearts, hearts plural. And bochen means tries or tests. So bochen, tests, tries. The Lord tests, refines, tries the heart. So this is so beautiful because the first line is extreme and we can see the the value of kesef, the value of silver and value of zahav gold in this world, but it's also, but it's external. It's e external, right? The blacksmith doesn't do this to himself. He does it to some sort of object in the world, out in the world. So it's worldly, of worldly value, gold and silver. Can't buy you salvation, can't buy you love. But bochen libot, the heart, is inner. It's internal. It's your inner world. And God tries and tests. And so, for those who love God, this is heavenly. Matzreif la kesef, vechur la zahav. So the, the crucible is for the purification of silver, kor lazav, the furnace for the purification of gold, the refining of gold, uvoken libot Adonai. That means, but the Lord is the one who tries hearts. He, in this parable then, is likened to a metallurgist who deals with what man cannot deal with, which is the inner world of the thoughts and hearts of man. And indeed, without the Lord working on our hearts, we would be lost in sin and darkness. Again, thank you for following along on this March through Mishlei. Shalom.